The following program contains graphic images that may be disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. Meet Mrs. Ann Jimmy, the morgue mom. She has over 1.6 million followers on Instagram and her fans cannot get enough of her unfiltered, often gory medical images. I do have to warn you, some of the pictures we're about to show you, little graphics, so if you have little ones, now may be the time to send them off. Let's have a look. Before I started working with body parts, I used to work in a part of the pathology laboratory called cytopathology. That is when you look at slides under the microscope to diagnose cancer. I used to see the staff of the OR bringing specimens down from surgeries. So I used to kind of sneak back just to see what was going on back there. One day the pathology laboratory leg refrigerator was broken and I walked over there to see what a leg refrigerator was and I saw all of these cool amputated legs and I just thought it was the coolest thing ever and I thought oh my god I totally have to work over in this lab. My very first autopsy I took the chest plate off and I saw the heart and I just thought it was so cool. Every time you open a body it's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. I started posting photos on Instagram about five years ago because one of my favorite sayings is mortui vivis docent, which is Latin for the dead teach the living. You could learn so much from a dead person about your own health. I never thought that I'd be spending my days dissecting organs, examining bodies, and performing autopsies, but I love it. Please welcome via Skype pathology assistant Nicole and Jimmy to the show. Welcome, Nicole. Hi. How are you? Good to see you. So I love, I love what you're doing with this account, but what inspired you in the, in the first place to start this Instagram account that now has 1.6 million plus followers? So I originally started my account because when I worked at an educational institution in the city, we used to have a conference called the Gross Conference. And what that is, is I used to hold a conference in the morgue and I used to hold 10 cases from autopsies and surgical pathology, and I used to lay them out in the morgue on cafeteria trays, believe it or not. So I would go to the cafeteria, steal these trays, and I promised I didn't return them to the cafeteria. That's what everybody and really I, wanted to know. <laughs> and I'd put the organs out, and I would invite surgery residents and the surgeons and the pathology residents and med students and they'd come down to the morgue and it was standing room only and we would discuss how the patients died, how the surgery treatments worked, everything and it was so great for patient education, for doctor education and I thought maybe more than doctors would be interested in this stuff so I started posting online and it seems like everybody is interested in it. So now I have 1.6 million followers, so I guess they are. And the pictures are so interesting. I have to ask you though, is there anything that grosses you out? The only thing that does gross me out is maggots that come off of a live patient. Um. Because anything that comes down to the lab should never be alive. So when something comes like an amputated leg that's still warm, that's cut off of a patient that's still up in a hospital room, I, j I just can't. Like, it makes me, I need to take a shower or something. It makes my skin crawl. Do you find that the people that follow you and that you're essentially educating, that your images influence your followers to maybe lead a healthier life? Oh, totally. I've been told that I scare my followers straight. So I get multiple emails a week just saying how I've, you know, help them stop smoking, stop drinking, and stop leading like a reckless lifestyle. And it, it makes me feel great. I mean, I've seen such ugly sides to smoking, just not what you see on TV, you know, stop smoking, you'll get lung cancer. I get resections of people's jaws cut off from chewing tobacco and smoking. And I post those images because I want people to know, like, you're not just going to get a little piece of your lung cut off. Like, you're going to get your entire face cut off. And then maybe if you look really ugly and you can't chew and eat anymore, then maybe you'll stop smoking. So that's why I really enjoy getting these emails, because I feel like I'm making a difference in some people's lives. 